Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age 2. It has been a few hours since my last episode. I since I recorded the last episode, so forgive me if I trip up a little bit. Um We've gotten deeper Ooh, Corypheus' prison. We've gotten deeper and deeper into this weird Grey Warden Deep Roads prison where a dark spawn named Corypheus has been imprisoned since well, for uh, quite a while. Now, we haven't seen any Grey Wardens except for one insane one that is slowly hearing the calling and is turning into a ghoul. He is... He wants to... He still has enough of his sanity remaining to want to keep Corypheus locked up, but the Carter Dwarves and the other Darkspawn are not so lucky. It's one of the more intel... Ooh, Deep Stalkers. Get a little bit of a better look at Deep Stalkers in this game than you do in Origins. Deep Stalkers are like a subterranean little race of, like, cave rats. <laughs> Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. You get a little bit of better view of what Deep Stalkers look like in this game than you do in Dragon Age Origins. Take a look at that hideous little bastard. Can't loot that. In Dragon Age Origins, you ran the Deep Stalkers, but they just sort of looked like, uh,. They looked a little bit more like Legion of the Dead armor. It's an Orzammar thing. No matter your crime, if you join the Legion and vow to die fighting Darkspawn, your name is cleared. They look like little dinosaurs. Now they look like like lampreys with feet. <laughs> of the dead sent after Paragon Garen's heir why does that sound familiar I think Garen was sometime in the early exalted age hundreds of years ago do you think they found him who knows ah uh, well I mean it couldn't have been too long ago that they sent this guy out I mean he wouldn't be rotten oh okay maybe I can loot that crap now Legion of the Dead. Another fascinating little bit of Dwarven society. Since the Dwarves live underground, and they are the most brought in the most direct conflict with the Darkspawn at all times, there is a sort of growing piece of, grown piece of society called the Legion of the Dead, which are the people who um, they're not really soldiers in the traditional sense. They are people who are living in the deep roads. Living is kind of a, a bit of a strong word in this case. Who go into the deep road? Nothing's going to jump out of that stuff. Hey, how about some sympathy for the one who's closest to the ground here? Huh. There are people from all over different parts of society. It doesn't matter what caste you are. It doesn't matter what anything you are. It doesn't matter what crime you've committed or anything like that. Where you go and get sent to the deep roads. And you fight Darkspawn until you die. That's all they are. That's all they do. That's all the Legion of the Dead are.
That's where I know the name. Tethra's Garen should have been the heir to the Garen clan. But he was accused of killing his sister and sent into the Deep Roads to die. When the real murderer was caught, they tried to find him. They never could. Instead, every Garen heir from that time on took the name Tethris in his honor. One of them became a paragon in his own right, and founded my clan. So this is... kind of your ancestor they're looking for? Not directly, but... Uh, a little closer than I like to come to my past, you know. Yeah. But, um... Well, people try to escape their lower caste, or people try to escape a sort of uh, bad, uh, bad things that they've done, crimes, all of that kind of shit. So they'll go and they will join the Legion of the Dead. Now that seems like kind of weird because the Legion of the Dead does nothing more than die, but in the Dwarven society, this is sort of considered to be an important thing for, uh, like, restoring of honor. Like, if you're willing to go out there and die, then any crime that you've committed is erased. But you're essentially dead. There is no surviving being a member of the Legion of the Dead. If you go in there, you're, you're in there until you're dead. Oh, Bethany's gone. Oh, shit was getting out of hand. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Let's take stock of what we got going on here. Okay, both hawks are down. There's one alpha there, there's another alpha there. There's just some regular herlocks over there. There's this guy here. I could probably knock him out with that. She's busy tanking the genlock here. Should probably have her take out the two herlocks. They have crossbows and they're going to be dangerous if they stay active. So, alright, let's see where this goes. Okay. Get back over there and kill that guy. You, potion up. There we go. Take him out. No, you dumbass. Alright. Rain arrows down. Because you're going to get that gen lock on your ass now. Now you're going to have to move ass. Haul ass. Oh, the attack wasn't completed. Shit. Keep moving, Tethris. We wrap this up sooner rather than later. That doesn't seem to be working. We all need help here. Both face on the herlock. That was intense. Stuff everywhere. So the Legion of Dead were apparently sent on some sort of a mission, though. What is that smell? I think I'm gonna pass out. Huh. Sent on some mission to go and find these... this person who was, um... 
Well, they were innocent of a crime that they were accused of. Odd-looking torches. Should we light them? Uh, okay. They're lit. Okay, now we have the Warden Scout Gloves. Give me a chance to swap out all of this crap with, um, with Warden equipment. I don't have that, do I? Ah, uh, whatever. Or that. I got the Scout Gloves and the boots. Good enough. Nice stuff, though. Let's see, it's, yeah, it's better than what I had, so whatever. I thought I had the full set, I don't have it yet. Or maybe I missed something, I don't know. an altar to sacrifice things to Dumat. That was underground for some freaking reason. The dwarves, uh, the dwarves revere Dumat. It's kind of unusual. You don't hear about that much. Blessed are you, Dumat. Silent and strong. Secret and wise. Accept these offerings and share your strength. I missed two things. Hmm. Okay, there were two things I picked up, and there were two things I missed. Perhaps they're still in this area, though. So. Eee. I might look this up. Because I really want to do this. Blessed are you. Oh, this is what it was. That body that I couldn't loot earlier a couple episodes ago because it was all screwed up. That's what I needed there. Alright, I'm not going to have the fourth item yet anyway. So I'm going to have to move on and then return to here uh, once I collect the fourth item. Oh shit. Maybe I should just let them fight it out. I need to take this more seriously. That's some bull crap. Friggin' Varric fell down at like the last friggin' second before the fight ended. So now I got an injury.
These poor dwarves. They were just trying to help someone and they've been trapped here for centuries. They were trapped anyway. Okay, that was what we needed. So we can return back to the, that uh, sacrificial altar and finish this thing off. It wasn't that far behind. Blessed are you, Jumat. Silent and strong. Secret and wise. Accept these offerings and share your strength. This is what we got out of it. Yeah. One constitution, one armor, 7% threat generation. Could probably give that to her. Ugh, she's gonna lose a lot of attack, though. Eh, yeah, I feel a little bad about, um, following through with a ritual to, to go and... Worship the archdemon that caused the first blight, but uh, whatever. The water's on fire. I don't think that's good. Where the hell do you see that? Oh, here he is. I trust Tunsha. Totania Amegtol Tavash Iduk. That was sweet, Hawk. Now let's get out of here before you see me cry. <laughs> ah, he's long dead. He's gonna survive down here anyway. How long has it been? Hell, why the hell did we even find him? Oh shit, that came out of nowhere. What the hell's going on? I can't get past him. I can't seem to get control of the hawk. Take him, Caesar. Take him. Okay, that went much smoother. I kind of got messed up last time because I was going and trying to, to attack the thing, and I was attacking it from the shield side, and also it sort of got stuck up on the geometry, and I couldn't target the thing. And instead of pausing the game like I should to try and get my shit together, I just kept it active for too long and then got my ass kicked. And I focused too much on trying to kill the other things instead of the right, that, whatever, no one cares.
They're blaming Kirkwall's corruption on the dark spawn. <laughs> That's a lot of them. All right. Let's do this. Oh, there's more of them. Shit. Genlock Alpha. I hate these things. Just had trouble with one of them. Is that worth it? And are any left? No, never mind. It's a big ass stack of gold. I pick it up, it's only 22 silver. Looks like I'm coming up on the last altar. <laughs> 